guys and gals, welcome back to Back Pocket Game Reviews. And this video was supposed to go up yesterday and I recorded it on my phone. However, somehow the audio and video wound up out of sync. Except for when they're on my phone. When it gets exported to YouTube, OneDrive, or a flash drive, audio and video wind up out of sync. And I didn't want to do that to you all because it drives me up a wall having to watch that. Uh, so I can only imagine how you all feel about it. So here we are, we're going to talk about Best Buy's Black Friday deals. Now, Best Buy's ad got leaked. It is a very odd leak, and Best Buy doesn't really tell you everything that they're going to have on sale. They only give you small snippets and say, other games included. We'll get to that. So, first off, we're going to start off with the hardware bundles, or the hardware deals, because that's where I like to start. So if you are looking to get a Switch with the Mario Kart 8, just like everyone else, that is at $299.99. Target, Walmart, $299. Xbox One X plus a controller and Battlefield 5 is $429.99. That's the best deal I have seen on an Xbox One X. Um, I mean, that's, that's still $70 off, plus you're getting a second controller and you're getting... Battlefield 5. I don't really know how you feel about Battlefield 5, but at least it's a newer game, whereas most of the Xbox One X bundles I've seen all come with PUBG. And I do like PUBG, but it's not an expensive game, it's not a new game, so the extra controller in Battlefield 5 I feel make that a pretty decent bundle. Spider-Man Slim PS4, that is the one terabyte model, just like everyone else, it's $199.99. Uh, Xbox One S Minecraft Edition is at $199.99, just like everyone else. Target, I believe, gives you a gift card as well, though, if I remember correctly. So if you are looking to get an Xbox One S, I might look to go to Target versus Best Buy. PSVR bundles will all be $100 off. Now, most of the VR bundles have been marked down, um, it's so like everyone's saying, oh, we got the PSVR bundle, whether it be $199 or $250, whichever one it is they're offering. This one allows you to pick your bundle and get the price cut that you want, essentially, on that bundle. So if you wanted the Skyrim, if you wanted the Gran Turismo, whatever bundle it was you were looking at, you'd be able to get that price cut on it. Which is pretty good deal. I like my PSVR. It doesn't get used an awful lot. But it is really cool when you do decide to bust it out. You will have fun with it. Controllers for both PlayStation and Xbox will be marked down to $39.99. That's, again, pretty much across the board. Target, Walmart, controller sale. Great job. However, now, PSN will be marked down to $39.99 for a year of PSN. I will be guaranteed going to Best Buy to pick that up because I don't really like having to spend full price on PSN or Xbox Live. Xbox Live will be $10 off for either the three or six month cards. Um, it doesn't say anything about the year, but I believe that's still a little bit off if you were to buy two six months from what the actual full price is, if I remember correctly. I don't know, it's been a really long time since I bought a six month card, but $10 off either the three or six month cards. Um, if you buy the three month cards and you buy four of them, that's essentially the same price that Xbox Live costs for the year. So uh, don't, don't go that route. Micro SD cards. So if you are picking up a Switch at Christmas, obviously a micro SD card is something you're probably gonna need or at least want or need to be thinking about close down the road. Um, Best Buy will have the SanDisk Ultra Plus SD micro SD cards for, and this is the 128 gigabyte ones, for 20 bucks. That is a steal. I bought some last year. I believe they had them at 25 or 30 bucks. That was still a steal last year. Uh, SanDisk is kind of one of the top brands when it comes to SD cards. This one kind of bothers me. It says $20 off select Switch games, but then only shows three Switch games. So you have no idea what all's on that list. But Kirby Star Allies, Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, and Bayonetta 2 are all pictured. Um, just no idea what else is going to be $20 off that's a Switch game. 40% off all Switch accessories. That does not include 
the Pro Controller. I don't believe that includes the dock either. I'm pretty sure that's just third-party Switch accessories. Now, they will have Black Ops 4 for $44.99. That's considered a doorbuster. That's not the lowest price we've seen on Black Ops so far. Keep in mind, they also don't show all of their game deals, uh, which is really agitating. Last year, I wound up finding them closer to Black Friday before, before the store opened. Also, as a tip for those of you who are like, man, there's no way in hell I'm going to make it to Best Buy and to all these other places I want to go. Um, I did pick up in store from the app. We were in Walmart last year on Black Friday shopping, and I literally just did a pickup order for everything I wanted for Black Friday at Best Buy and then went in and picked it up the next day. Just so you know you can do that. So these games are all $30. NBA 2K18, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, that is $5 cheaper than anyone else has had Assassin's Creed Odyssey at. FIFA 18, Madden 18, Forza Horizon 4, Overwatch, and NHL 19. That is not the cheapest price that I've seen on Overwatch, so yeah. I believe Walmart had the cheapest price, if I remember correctly. It's either Walmart or Target. One of them had it ridiculously cheap. Um, but those games are all 30 bucks. I, I, again, I'll be going to try to pick up Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Um, God of War and Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy will both be $24.99. Far Cry 5, Detroit Become Human, Monster Hunter World, and Mario plus Rabbids are all $19.99. That is the best price I have seen on Far Cry 5. If you have not yet played Far Cry 5, I strongly, strongly recommend you pick it up. It is a really good game, especially if you like first-person shooters, and especially if you like giant sandbox games. Uh, you're fighting this terrible America or this terrible cult, and you're a bunch of Americans essentially making them choke on freedom. Uh, God of War also was insanely good. Uh, so if you haven't played either one of those, pick them up while they're on sale. I highly suggest either of those games. <clears throat> Detroit Become Human is also really good, but obviously that game is not for everyone. Not everyone's going to enjoy it. Um, and then they also got Battlefront 2 and PUBG at $14.99. It's not a bad price for PUBG. I've seen it go lower, I believe, though, if I'm not mistaken. I think I paid for it now. I think I paid $30. I don't remember. Hmm. Either way. There are some really good game deals to be had, obviously. Um, it, it, it all depends on what you're looking for. I can't say, oh, Best Buy has better deals overall. Um, they have the best deal on Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I will probably try to snag it in the app while I'm at Walmart trying to get... Santa has to do some shopping at Walmart, okay? I don't want to go to Walmart. It's not like I'm like, man, I'd really like to go to Walmart. But things that Santa needs are cheapest at Walmart right now. So, if that changes, I'll let you all know. Also, guys, I really appreciate all of you watching my content. Don't forget to drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can leave those down in the comments down below. Let me know what you're picking up this Black Friday. Also, if you want to subscribe, you can click the subscribe button, but don't forget to ding the bell, because if you don't ding the bell, you'll just sit there and... YouTube forgets you exist and never notifies you about anything. Um, and if you want to follow me anywhere else, there is always in the, in the description box down below are all my links. Thanks for watching. I'll have plenty more content coming for you and stick around, guys.